I, I can hardly wait. Well, thanks to Cash for Kindness, we've had the opportunity to meet a lot of people making a difference in the lives of others, and they deserve a little recognition, we think. In this week's Cash for Kindness report, we meet a man who saw a need through his own disability, and he couldn't wait to fill the void. And the result, a new outlook for a group in our community. Here's WSFA 12 News anchor Valerie Lawson. William Bowman is surrounded by his life's mission, equipment and shelves of information to help the visually impaired enjoy a better quality of life. He's just a, a genuine type person. Gloria Black met him several years ago, and she was amazed well, at how Bowman, who is legally blind, when, when didn't use his disability as a crutch. He so organized VIP, impaired. or Visually yeah, Impaired I'm People, a nonprofit organization myself. that helps so sponsor can, field uh, trips and raises money for equipment for visually impaired have, children and I mean, adults. He uh, helps them and provide transportation for them. And I'm sure if he gets this award, he'll probably uh, put it back into the system and um, help others. We gave Gloria Black $120. She will pass along to Bowman for his good deeds. All right, how you doing? I'm doing good. What's going on here? We surprised him at his home, where the $120 came as welcome news. We're going to give you $120. $120? <laughs> great. <laughs> yes, I, this is Cash for Kindness. Have Have you heard of the segment? I've seen the segment on on your program before, I think, on the 10 o'clock news. Yes, yes. But I didn't know I was going to be getting in an award, so I'm very <laughs> surprised about this. I don't, I don't know exactly what to say except thank you, and the money will be used uh, for the organization's Mission. A mission that's helping so many in the Dallas County area have a brighter future. And through his efforts, William has raised $2,000 to help buy a video magnifying machine that helps a third grader at Dallas County Elementary School read textbooks and handouts ten times better than before. If you'd like to nominate someone for Cash for Kindness, you should email Valerie at vlawson at wsfa.com. Tell her a little bit about the person and don't forget to put Cash for Kindness in the subject line of